In this video I would like to talk about the theory that has been developed by Abraham Maslow quite a long time ago and if I remember it correctly it was the first theory that I have learned in sociology ever. So we are going to talk about the hierarchy of needs theory by Abraham Maslow. So probably most of you have already seen this quite a famous pyramid of needs. So we have some pyramid, uh, pyramid of needs of needs and as you can see it has several of these building blocks or steps and what we'll talk about is that uh, generally by our nature we are given that through these steps through these blocks we are going from bottom to the top so we are going uh, this direction so that at first we try to satisfy our physiological needs so that our body simply needs breathing, food, water, or even sex. And all these we are seeking to satisfy first. Then the second building block of this pyramid are the safety needs. So that we need the security of our body, of employment, of resources, of morality, of the family, of health, of property. So you can imagine that for instance, the, the safety needs are not satisfied, are not fulfilled during the war. So that when we have really uh, satisfied our physiological and safety needs, then we move one step up and we would like to have some love or belonging needs. Simply, we would like to belong somewhere. So we want some friends, some friendship. So we would like to belong to a group of people whom we consider friends. Then, of course, we would like to have some uh, family so that we have someone to love and we feel that someone loves us. This is already a third step. So as you can see, we have moved to a quite a higher needs when we move to the third block. Now, when even these needs are satisfied, then we move to esteem so that we have some, let's say, a position within the society. We have some self-esteem. Then we have a confidence, achievement, respect of others. And this one I would like to highlight. Respect of others and respect by others. Respect of others and respect by others. As you see, these are already a quite a high needs which we are trying to satisfy. And finally, we get to the self-actualization. But what I would like to highlight here, this is not the end point. This is not, this is not the end point. End point. It's some sort of a journey. We as a humans are always trying to achieve a perfect self-actualization, but we never really get there. So it's a journey towards which we are aiming. So self-actualization is not the end point. Here we are striving for the sense of morality, creativity, spontaneity, problem solving, lack of justice, or the acceptance of facts. So now, as you can see, we went through this pyramid of needs, which is basically the wall theory. But what is important to mention, especially if we are studying, for instance, sociology or organizational behavior, when a need becomes substantially satisfied, so some need becomes substantially satisfied, the next one becomes dominant. And this is the important point. So when we are, let's say, uh, fulfilled to a substantial extent with our safety, then we are trying to set up a family, a friendship. When we are, let's say, uh, satisfied only in a physiological sense to a substantial extent, then we start to care about our safety. So as you can see, it really works everything together. Now, what does this need? What implication does it have for some sociology or motivation studies? It says, if you want to motivate someone, you need to understand what level of the hierarchy that person is currently. So that person is currently. So all of us are on some, let's say, it can move throughout the life, but of course, the, the let's say, the your therapist would be able to say that you as a person is currently on this or this level. And now if he or she would like to motivate you, then he will understand, okay, so uh, you, have a, you have a friendship, you have a friends, you have, let's say, all of these needs satisfied and all of these needs. And this one is, let's say, not perfectly substantially satisfied. So we need to motivate you with the sense of a family. And only then you will be able to move one step up. 
So that was the basic overview of hierarchy of needs theory by Abraham Maslow.